Welcome. Today is Friday in the 23rd week of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Ben. You are You're just, just O oh Lord, Lord, and your, your judgment, judgment is right. right. Treat your, your servant in accord, in accord with, with your, your merciful, merciful love. love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Yes, our Lord is a just God, so we ask him to forgive us for whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. And I chose the Mass in times of pandemic. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress. Look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me. And woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, <laughs> I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I, may, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race? but only one wins the prize. Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No. I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. 
How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely, How lovely is, is your, your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord, mighty God. God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which to put her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely, How lovely is, is your, your dwelling, dwelling place, place, Lord, Lord mighty God. God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are, their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How, How lovely, lovely is, is your, your dwelling, dwelling place, place, Lord, Lord mighty God. God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God. Grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How, How lovely, lovely is your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. Father, your blessing, may the Lord be in your heart that you may confess your sins with <laughs> may the Lord. I proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. You and I, we're so familiar with this gospel. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? The answer to Jesus' question seems pretty obvious. Pointing out the faults of others is a lot more pleasant and less demanding than admitting our own. Nothing, noting the faults of another demands nothing of us. Noting our own faults demands that we might have to change. Before making any judgment of others, Jesus urges on us genuine self-knowledge. We're so close to ourselves that we often find it hard to be clear-sighted about dear old me. 
It seems a paradoxical axiom that what we so willingly criticize in others is often a good indication of what is wrong with us. A psychologist looked at gossip from a psychological point of view, not a moral point of view, and he showed that people who gossip are, in general, people who do not like themselves, and in comparison, compensation, they find faults in others. I often share that in confession when people uh, accuse gossiping. As I share with them that article I read about the psychologist years ago, that yes, when we gossip, it's very often because we don't like ourselves and we compensate by finding faults in others. Jesus warns that efforts to judge and correct others may mask an unwillingness to face our own failings. This is a problem for all of us to some degree. And we have to ask ourselves, how do we deal with this attitude? We have to be humble enough to acknowledge that we might be a blind person guiding a blind person. We have to reflect on our own blindness by doing our house cleaning first. Someone wrote, if we do not know the log in our own eye, we can easily project it elsewhere. called to be people of holiness and faith, we come to God with our prayers. For bishops, priests, and deacons who labor to faithfully share the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those given authority to uphold and enforce the law, that they may respect those they serve and apply the law with justice and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who suffered painful loss in the tragic events of September 11, that they continue to find comfort in the promise of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all workers in the vineyard of the Lord, that they find joy and fulfillment in their calling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the men and women who have served and continue to serve our country in the military and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Gabby Short, Joanne Schlemmer, Tammy Wilson, Dr. Ray Colleen, Casey Smozinski, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Father Jim Burson, Mariana Mora, Nancy Johnson, Thomas McGrath, Todd Rippo, and all victims of violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of all knowledge and wisdom, we offer worship and prayers as we gather in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the earth, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash my Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at, at your hands, hands for, for the, the praise, praise and, and glory of his, his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in, in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and, and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that, that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so... With all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, as saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save, save us, us, Savior of the, of the world. world. For, For by your cross, cross and, and resurrection, resurrection you, you have, have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done. Be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with your, spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.